Good evening, everyone. Breaking news off the top at 11, a deadly drive by shooting at Fort Lauderdale. We're learning a child is among the injured. Let's get right to local 10 Terrell Fournay live at the scene with the very latest Terrell. And that child may just be a toddler, according to a man who claims to be that boy's grandfather. I will step out of the way so you can see all of the police activity playing out behind me here in this Fort Lauderdale neighborhood. Uh, it appears that those shooting victims were outside when they were hit, we've confirmed six people in total were hit by bullets, two of them fatal, fatally. Now let's get to this video, this mass shooting happening just before 8 tonight. This is near Northwest 7th Street and 10th Terrace, a neighborhood east of I-95 but south of Sunrise Boulevard. When officers arrived, again, they found those six shooting victims, but they pronounced a woman dead on the scene. Another man died at the hospital, but the four others are being treated at Broward Health Hospital right now, including that young child who again is surviving. Detectives believe this is the result of a drive-by shooting. Investigators have been trying to speak with possible witnesses, scour for video, and gain any shred of information on a possible motive or perhaps who may have done this, but they say they need more. What I can tell you, Terrell, is that we need information um, to help us put the pieces together uh, regarding this investigation. We know there were many people on scene that witnessed this, someone who may have seen the color of the vehicle or the, the driver of the vehicle or the type of gun or even, I mean, you name it. We need those people to come forward. So that is the big push tonight to get residents in this neighborhood to speak up, perhaps to the detectives here on the scene or perhaps to Robert Crime Stoppers, where they can phone in those tips anonymously and receive a cash reward. No one at this point is in custody. Detectives have not released a description of a possible vehicle or a possible gunman at this point. They are still, again, trying to assess that information from the public to perhaps get it out there and put the person behind bars. So a very active scene. It will likely be like this for the next few hours into the overnight hours, where again, six people were shot too fatally. We are live in Fort Lauderdale tonight. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.